And let's stay with our top story, the political uncertainty in Greece. To discuss this, we're joined from St. Louis in Missouri by Kostas Azariadis, a Greek-born professor of economics at Washington University. Professor Azariadis, we're seeing Greeks withdraw hundreds of millions of euros from their accounts. Is this a sign of the beginning of the end for Greece? Well, I don't know if it's the beginning of the end, uh, but the situation is worsening very rapidly. And not only the banking and uh, uh, monetary situation, but also the real, the real economy on the ground. Uh, incomes are falling very rapidly, 6% per year. Uh, the unemployment rate is shooting up 22% now. And it's very difficult. The economy is clearly in a free fall, and it's very difficult to plan ahead because we don't know where things will be three or four months from now, and that creates additional uncertainty among the people who vote and also the leaders who must cope with the crisis. So do you think that this is inevitable, that Greece will withdraw from the euro? Uh, no, it's likely, but it's not inevitable. There are worst-case scenarios that are really scary about Greece and the rest of the EU, uh, but there are also best-case scenarios that are, that are uh, hopeful. Uh, what is required is uh, patience on the part of the Greek people and bold leadership on the part of the European Central Bank and the European Union. If Greece does return to the drachma, it's not an overnight solution because the drachma then faces devaluation, which risks inflation. That's a worst-case scenario. It is the worst case scenario, but uh, Greece used to have the drachma 10 or 12 years ago, and it was not doing too badly. Uh, the, the worst case scenario is not that Greek, Greece goes to the drachma, but it does uh, with a set of uh, low-quality politicians uh, who mismanage the situation and with no willingness to undertake the structural reforms that will give the economy some growth and get it going. The drachma is not the problem, and the euro is not necessarily the solution. It's what one does uh, under each regime. And when you speak to friends and colleagues and family in Greece, what kind of mood, what kind of impression do you get? Uh, I think people uh, are still hoping for a silver bullet, some kind of an economic miracle where the, uh, the richer uh, northern European countries decide to suspend interest payments on Greek debt and agree to provide the Greek economy with a few hundred uh, billion dollars that will help the country invest in its future. That is the silver bullet. Uh, but on the other side of this equation, uh, there, is, there are the German and Northern European taxpayers who've, or, who've already uh, given over a lot of resources to Southern European countries and who may be very reluctant uh, to throw good money after bad. Okay, Professor Azariadis from Washington University, very good to hear your thoughts. Thank you.